Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The first successful jet engine flight took place in 1939, but they didn't become common aboard commercial and military aircraft until the 1950s. These engines were instrumental in allowing airplanes to reach faster speeds and higher altitudes. They work by taking in large volumes of air, compressing it, and then mixing it with fuel. They then ignite the mixture and direct it outward to provide thrust. While the process may sound simple, jet engines are extremely complex. Therefore, maintaining and repairing them is a very detailed and time-consuming process. Among the most famous military jet fighters in history is the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle. First introduced in 1976, this twin-engine tactical fighter has been upgraded to the point where it can still compete with some of the most advanced jets in the world. The F-15 is powered by two Pratt & Whitney F-100 PW220 afterburning turbofans. Each one is capable of putting out nearly 24,000 pounds of thrust with the afterburners engaged, giving the F-15 a top speed of 1,650 miles per hour. Though many types of maintenance can be performed while the engine is inside the plane, technicians will sometimes remove the entire engine to service various parts better. This is generally done with a heavy lifting dolly, which can not only support the 3,200 pound device, but raise or lower it into position as needed. Once the engine compartment has been properly prepped and the engine itself serviced, it can be carefully reinstalled by the team. To do so, the dolly holding the engine must be raised to the ideal height and the engine itself carefully inserted into place. Every engine repair is different. Due to the overall complexity of the systems, Maintenance squadrons must be well-trained on virtually every inch of the engine. These crews generally follow a standardized series of steps to perform a successful repair. This starts with a detailed inspection. After the engine is removed from the aircraft, maintenance teams will generally place it into a well-lit hangar. Here, they can better identify any signs of wear, damage, or corrosion. This also gives them a chance to check the blades, bearings, seals, and other critical components. Next, the engine will be taken apart and any damaged or worn parts will be removed. Each component is then cleaned, inspected, and tested to determine if it can be reinserted back into the engine or if it needs to be repaired. In some cases, parts will need to be completely replaced or refabricated from scratch. The next step is reassembly. 
with new parts being installed as needed. A careful detailed engine test helps ensure the engine is working properly before it is reinstalled into the aircraft. In the U.S. military, an engine must be post-repair certified before it can return to operational duty again. Most engine repairs take place in special hangar facilities known as engine shops. Here, the men and women from each maintenance team can have easy access to all the tools and equipment they need to keep each engine in tip-top shape. Like the F-15, the F-16 Fighting Falcon is one of the older fighters still used by the U.S. military. As such, its aging single turbofan engine is often the subject of repairs and renovations. The F-16 is a fast, nimble fighter capable of reaching speeds of 1,300 miles per hour. But in order to operate at full capacity, maintenance crews must be vigilant as well as diligent in their duties. Over the years, jet engine maintenance has improved dramatically in many ways. One of the most innovative new methods to be developed in recent years is chemical stripping. This ultrasonic cleaning process can be used to remove paint, corrosion, and inorganic coatings from aircraft engine components. It involves the use of specialized chemicals that dissolve or soften contaminants, allowing them to be removed more easily. Whereas previous chemical stripping baths took up to 90 hours and produced less than desirable results, in many cases the parts, which number in the hundreds, still need to be hand scrubbed after the bath. However, ultrasonic stripping takes just 5 to 15 minutes to remove coatings and completely eliminates the need for hand scrubbing. This helps keep the plane's engine in ideal working order while drastically reducing cleaning time. When it comes to military aircraft engines, few facilities are more important to the U.S. military than the Oklahoma City Air Logistics Complex, also known as the OCALC. Located at Tinker Air Force Base, the OCALC performs programmed depot maintenance on a variety of aircraft, including the B-1B, B-53, and KC-135. It also handles expanded phase maintenance and overhaul for the F-101, F-116, F-118, F-135, and F-119 engines, to name a few. complex boasts more than 10,000 personnel, all of whom are assigned to different aircraft components. In any part of the facility, you can find engineers, mechanics, technicians, and support staff conducting inspections, repairs, modifications, and upgrades to aircraft and their associated systems. One team may work on wings or struts, while another will deal with various engine systems or hydraulic mounts. Perhaps most impressive is the fact that this one single facility handles repairs and overhauls for the U.S. Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps, as well as aircraft shipped overseas.
As OCALC has the full funding and support of the United States government, the facility boasts some of the world's most advanced avionics and repair equipment. One example is the absolute arm, often referred to as the world's most accurate portable measuring arm. It can be used independently for tactile probing or paired with a 3D scanner to render physical objects into digital space. In fact, the company that manufactures the arm, Hexagon, claims its probing accuracy is as fine as six microns, while the scanning system is accurate to within 43 microns. Elsewhere in the facility, entire wing sections and parts of airplane fuselages can be found. When it comes to older aircraft, it is often necessary for the entire plane to enter the OCALC for disassembly, cleaning, upgrading, and repair. In these cases, Entire teams will have access to each specific part of the plane at any given time. Where one maintenance crew might need to work inside the cockpit, another group can be inside the cargo bay checking electrical wiring or other components. Most of the time, new parts can be fabricated on site, while those in need of deep cleaning or repair can be revitalized elsewhere around Tinker Air Base. In other cases, components must be ordered and shipped from elsewhere. This is especially true of engines, as some of the parts of these planes can be up to 50 years old. In addition to maintenance and fabrication, the OCALC also plays a critical role in the supply chain management of U.S. military aircraft. This is generally referred to as the Air Force Sustainment Center. It manages the distribution of spare parts and other supplies to military bases worldwide, ensuring that all planes, regardless of the military branch, are properly equipped and ready for their mission. Overall, the Oklahoma City Air Logistics Complex is vital to the Air Force's maintenance, supply, and repair infrastructure. It is also one of the largest facilities in the world to be completely dedicated to the military aerospace industry. While every single part of a military aircraft has an important purpose, the engines remain among the most essential. Regarding the maintenance, repair, and overhaul of aircraft engines and related systems, the 76th Propulsion Maintenance Group is the U.S. military's best option. Also located at Tinker Air Force Base, this group performs assemblies and repairs for the F-15, F-16, C-17, F-22, and numerous other fighters, bombers, and cargo craft. Armed with incredibly precise robotic instruments and equipment, they can perform state-of-the-art chemical cleaning, engine testing, and even micro-level repairs and evaluations. Ultimately, no place in the country is more responsible for keeping the U.S. fleet in the air. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.